Now, as we go further, we have already said that each process carries PCB. But we have also said that out of n available processes, only one process at a time will execute on the processor. This calls for the need of context switching. What do you mean by context switching? What exactly is context switching? Technically, it's a process when two available processes exchanges their place in memory. That means process X, which was running, will unload its data and process Y, which was stopped, will now start getting executed. So context switching is a process of unloading PCB of one process and loading PCB of the other process. Why? Because without PCB, your process cannot be executed. So let's try to understand how this context switching takes place. This is a small diagram in which we'll explain how context switching is working. In this first process A will load its PCB. This PCB carries all the needed information including resource script and other things for A and now it is running. When the process is over or another process needs the processing time that means the time quantum given to process A is over. Process A will first unload its PCB becomes inactive and now process B will load its own PCB and now process B which was inactive till now becomes active. So phenomena is fairly simple. By using context switching a process which was waiting for processor will always get the processor if it is about to. But for doing so it is compulsory that process A has to unload its own PCB and then process B can load it. Context switching is a time consuming and a complicated task. Hence, one needs to understand that why when we use tabs or alt tabs in keyboard, sometimes window hangs. Many a times, many of us has a habit of opening multiple windows or multiple application at the same time. Have you actually tried using alt tab? Try it. When you use alt tab, a process which was earlier executing was or rather is supposed to unload itself and then the other process which was waiting or rather getting process in the background has to load itself in a foreground and start showing itself. This is the basic concept of process PCB and context switching of the PCB. Due to this process context switching is always costly and if possible avoided. That's it. Thanks for watching this video.